No. Well, what are you getting at, Doc? Well, that goes your argument about setting off a dynamite charge underwater. You'd bring the bodies to the surface. Get it out of your mind, Doc. I'm not using any explosives as long as there's another way. Why must you be such a... Stubborn pighead? Exactly. I'll tell you why. Number one, there's bound to be some aquarium life in that section, even if the bigger forms have abandoned it. Explosion underwater would destroy every living thing and wreck what nature took years to build up. Number two, I'm paid to prevent the useless slaughter of wildlife. Number three, I'd have to get authorization. And to get that authorization, I'd have to come up with a heck of a good reason. Satisfied? Finish up, Dad. I want to go home. Uh, Steve, uh... How long will it take to get this diving equipment from Eastport? Mm, a couple of days. Why? Oh, nothing. Take care of yourself, Steve. Well, here's hoping. Dad, can't you throw the dynamite in from here? No, I want to get it out into the middle, in the deepest part. Go any minute. Just can't figure it out. Walker's wife, why didn't her body come to the surface? I don't know. I think I better walk over to the coroner's office. What's the matter, Mr. Benton? You feel awkward about arresting my father in his own home? I warned him I'd arrest him if he used dynamite. It's nice of you. Well, the autopsy should be over by now. I thought you'd be here. I don't like to have to do this, Doctor. Do we have time for a cup of coffee first? Sure. You mind, honey? No, I'll make some sandwiches. One thing is certain, for all the good it'll do now. Dave Walker didn't shoot Cal. I just come from the autopsies. Covis tried to keep me out. But I told him I'd raise a stink, they'd smell all the way to the Capitol if he did. Well, what killed them, Doc? Not drowning. And Cal wasn't shot either. 
Every drop of blood was drained out of their bodies. And they had wounds on their throats, suction wounds, like a, like a gigantic leech might make. And there's something even more incredible. Now, Cal was supposed to have been killed several days ago. Sam and Reed have been missing a matter of 48 hours. All three of them, as far as we know, were in that lake uh, a minimum of two days. Now, I'd stake my reputation as a doctor that Cal hadn't been dead more than two or three hours when we found him, and the other two less than that. First stage, rigor mortis started in during the autopsy. But how could that be, Doc? It's impossible. The coroner will confirm it. Whatever killed him is still in that lake, and it's going to take more than dynamite to get it out. Concussion from those charges would have killed a full-grown whale. That explains how Cal and the others lived after they were supposed to be drowned. What do you mean? Well, this whole region is riddled by caves and caverns cut out by the ocean thousands of years ago. If there are caves above the water, then there must be caves under the water. Go on. Mike and I had a chance to fool around with some frogman equipment captured from the Italian Navy. We sort of prowled through a sunken transport off Salerno. When the ship went down, it trapped some air inside the hull. We'd go down, come up inside the officer's lounge, take off her face mask, and sort of sample some of the bottles floating around. <laughs> We'd drive the guys crazy trying to figure out how we were getting the stuff. You mean you think that there's a, an air pocket or a cave underneath the lake? Right, gotta be. How else could those people have lived down there? Not only that explains how whatever it is down there lived through the concussions. Steve. Liz Walker. She might still be down there. Alive. Me to go down for you, Mike? You haven't had one of these things on for a long time. Well, me, every other day, I've been playing fish. Not this time, Mike. If you ask me, they ought to have their heads examined. Giant leeches. <laughs> well, I'm willing to bet a month's pay they don't come up with nothing more than excuses. He's crazy. Him, the doc, and his brat, too. Just wait till I get on the phone to the Capitol. I'll guarantee somebody will wish they'd kept their nose out of other people's business. I'll guarantee that. Let's go, Mike. Steve! Be careful, please. Don't worry, Mike will be 